What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next video, we're told that you take out a $6,200 loan from the bank and get charged 4.8% simple interest. Part A, how much interest do you pay in 80 days? Part B, if you're charged $130.45 in interest, how many days have gone by? Part C, how much interest do you pay in nine months? And then part D, if you're charged $173.60 in interest, how many months have gone by? So what we're doing is we're taking this scenario and then presenting five different questions about it. So let me erase C and D for now. I'll bring them back later on in the video just to get some room to work here. So just in general, when you're dealing with simple interest, the amount of interest charge is basically equal to the principal amount times the interest rate, the simple interest rate, times the number of years that have gone by. We'll represent it as T, so this is the number of years. But notice in this case that we're gonna have to prorate this because, for example, in part A, we're asked how much interest do you pay in 80 days? So it's not even a full year. So what we would do, well, we would plug in the principal amount, 6,200, we would plug in the interest rate as a decimal, 0 0.048. But then this year, we have to prorate it. How many days are there in a year? 365. So what we would do is we would write 80 over 365, like that. And that's the calculation we would do. That's the amount of interest that's going to be charged in 80 days. And when you do all of that, you would end up with... $65.23 of interest. So that would be the answer to part A. Part B, if you're charged $130.45 in interest, how many days have gone by? So notice in this case, we're given the interest and we're gonna have to solve this amount over here. So with part B, the way you set it up, Let's write out the full equation like that. Now we're given the interest. We know the principal amount. We know the annual interest rate. So the interest rate that's gonna be given, unless it's stated otherwise, it's gonna be an annual rate. So this is the number of years, but we're solving for the number of days that have, that have gone by. So what we would do is we would put an X here and it would be over. 365. So comparing it to this, again, we're just solving for this. Everything else is going to stay the same. And so the way that we can isolate for this x, well, notice that we can divide everything by these two brackets bring, to bring them over, and then we can multiply by 365 to be able to bring this over, right? Because these are in the numerator, so divide by 6,200.048, and then multiply by 365 because it's in the denominator. Right, so these would cancel out and then these would cancel out. Now what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So what we would do is we would take this, multiply it by 365, and divide it by 6,200.048. So basically, just to write it out nicer, the interest, or no, sorry, the x value, we're solving for this. So x, which is the number of days that have gone by, that's what we're solving for, is going to be the interest times 365 over 6,200 times 0 0.048. Eight. And when you do that calculation, you would end up getting x equaling 160 days. So that would be the answer to part B. Right, so that's the algebra. Hopefully you didn't get confused here with the algebra. Another way you can kind of set it up, if you want to make it look a little nicer, is you could set it up for this entire right side to be one fraction. Because notice we have two numbers here and then a fraction here. So we could combine it because this would be over one, this would be over one. So we could say like 
6,200, 0 0.048, then we'll have x all over 365. Like that, you could even multiply these if you want and then have just one number in front of the x. But basically from here, we could put this over one and then we could just cross multiply everything, right? So one times this would give us 6,200 times 0 0.048 times x equals the 130.45 times the 365. And then we would divide both sides by these two brackets to isolate for the x. And then we'd end up with this over here. Right, so different ways to go about it. So whichever way you do it, when you're solving for this x, just make sure that you're getting that same value. Now moving on to parts C and D, very similar to parts A and B, but now instead of days, it's gonna be in terms of months, right? So part C, how much interest are you charged in nine months? Well, same thing. We're gonna be using this formula, principal times the simple interest rate times the number of years. But now what's gonna happen is the principal stays the same, the interest rate stays the same, but now here, the prorating of the years is gonna be different. So we're gonna write nine over 12 because there's 12 months in one year. Before there was 365 days in a year, there's 12 months in a year now. And so you're just prorating it at a different rate. And when you do that calculation, you'd end up with $223.20 for the interest. Now in part D, what we're gonna be solving for is the number of months that have gone by if you're charged $173.60 in interest. So same thing, you'd be using this equation here for the interest. Now we're given the interest in this case. Principles the same, interest rate is the same. But now this, we're solving for the number of months, so it would be x, the variable we're solving for, over 12, like that. And so to solve this a little nicer, I'm gonna erase this here, is Let's combine this into one fraction. So I'll have 6,200 times 0 0.048 times X. And that's gonna be all over 12. Cause this is like over one, this is like over one. So combining everything, we get this. And then from here, you could put this over one, just cross multiply, isolate for that X. So we would end up with one times all of this And then we'd have 173.60 times this 12 over here. And then to get the x by itself, we would divide both sides by this bracket. So we would have 173.60 times 12 over 6,200 times 0 0.048. And when you do all of that in your calculator, you'd end up with approximately seven, right? So seven months have gone by if you're charged this amount in interest. And you can actually check your answer too. So you can take this and plug it in here. So take 6,200 times 0 0.048 times seven over 12, and you should get a number that's very close to that. So that's a nice way to check your answer. Right, so different scenarios, just be careful with what you're given, whether you're working with months, days, sometimes though you'll be just working with whole years, annual periods, but just make sure that you're adjusting that T variable accordingly.